But against all the odds, Brighton and Hove Albion are still in the Football League following their one-all draw at Hereford. Jeff Clark tells the story. The ups and downs of being a football supporter were surely never better illustrated than at Hereford over the weekend, Brighton the visitors. One of the two teams would stay in the Football League, one of them would be relegated to non-league football. When Hereford scored after 20 minutes of the first half, an own goal by Brighton-born Kerry Mayo, Albion fans thought they were on their way out. Midway through the second half, Robbie Reinolt equalised and, in complete contrast to the first goal, the visiting 3,500 fans were ecstatic. The club's 77-year status as a football league outfit was to be extended. Hereford go down. The one-all draw meant Albion was safe. Uh, I don't think I can explain what was going through my mind when uh, they scored, but when I scored, the euphoria, I think, is the word when we scored, and then when the final whistle went. It's uh, been a highly emotional season, and uh, this is a great ending. It's just, you know, nail-biting stuff, so uh, I've had two matches in charge. I hope it, they're not all as tense as this, because uh, I think I should lose the rest of my hair, you know. I had a head of hair a week ago. We were nervous, you could tell that, it must have. But second half, we came out and... We expressed ourselves a little bit. We, we went at them and they couldn't uh, cope with us, but there was a nervous last 10 minutes. Manager Steve Gritt gave congratulations all round in the dressing room before beginning the long journey home. Some football traditions never die. The aftermatch banquet? Fish and chips all round. A refreshing beverage or two? Or was it three or four or more? All followed by a celebratory song and floor show. The perfect end to a traumatic season. Without a doubt, it was... It was a Probably the most tense 90 minutes I think I've ever ever watched. Um, I wouldn't want to go through that again, to be honest. I mean, I, I, I might have to. Um, you never know. You never know in football. But uh, the last five months have, have been incredible, really. It's just the, the way it's all all panned out. And as I said after the game to somebody, you know, whoever wrote the script, I'm just pleased they got they put a happy ending in it. Six and a half hours after the final whistle, the team were greeted at the Goldstone ground by loyal, grateful fans. The club's home for next season is still to be confirmed, but the main thing is they'll still be playing in the Football League. Jeff Clark with Brighton and Hove Albion for Meridian tonight.